Hey guys, so I don't know about you, but for the most part, I'm fairly pissed off. Like yesterday, I was at Walmart and I started getting really angry all of a sudden. And I was, I was near the book section, so I went there and I started grabbing the books and throwing them on the floor, just grabbing them and throwing them, grabbing them and throwing them until, you know, I, I you know, had my tantrum and then I picked them up and I, I put them back in the shelves and I ordered them alphabetically because I'm not about that thug life, okay? And, you know, I'm pissed off for a couple of reasons. I, I, I'm disgusted by the way that the political environment uh, has decided to behave itself currently. It's kind of like you have two anuses talking to each other at this point and nobody can, like, get shit together. It's a mess. Um, I'm also very upset about, like, the way that the world is right now. It's very violent. Uh, there's a lot of discrimination, a lot of hate just going around everywhere. 2016 is the year... Where, where shit just stopped making sense. I mean, seriously, if you look at the, the progression that we had, we, we, we buy more shit, we spend more time working to get money to buy more shit, and yet we're less happy than, than we've ever been. I mean, depression rates are up, it's like we go out less, we have less friends, what the, but above all, and perhaps even more importantly, you know, above the, the, the racism and bigotry and the increase in divorce rates and suicide rates, and, and people, you know, just, just uh, turning to addiction and, you know, being, you know, obsessive or crazy things. That's not what matters. What matters to me, well, what, what's most important to me is that Bleach is about to end. As, you, as you've known, I've been a Bleach fan since the beginning. I mean, I followed the series from the start, read every single chapter weekly. I've been a fan of Bleach for 40 years, all right? I'm a 47-year-old man, so you can do the math. Um... And actually, you know, there's a reason for why I'm, I'm saying these things. It's not just all crazy stuff. It's like, I, there's a method to my madness. And, and what I'm trying to illustrate with this commentary here that I'm trying to get out is the fact that if you noticed, at least for me, and I don't know how it is for you as, as a manga reader, but, you know, we have Bleach ending in a couple of weeks. Naruto has already ended. I know there's some people in denial that's like, oh, look, the Boruto thing and, you know, the anime... If, if you're really honest to yourself, and you look deep down, you'll, you'll know. You'll find that Naruto is over. It's over. It's never going to be the same again. Um, there's No matter how good the Boruto manga ends up being, uh, there's just no way that a, that a series that comes on like a monthly basis will be able to rival like any type of like content that comes on a weekly basis that was, you know, as... as uh, intriguing and as, and as encapsulating as Naruto was when, when the manga was going on. So to me, like I said again, like, Naruto is pretty much over. Yeah, there's some, like, side stories here and there, and there's, like, you know, this, this new manga, whatever, but for the most part, it's, it's dead. It's gone. Bleach is about to reach the same phase, um, and what I was getting at with the whole, like, you know, be, me being a super big fan is that I may not have been a, been a big super fucking fan of Bleach, but I, I understand why people... Why it's scary for people to lose a little part of their routine every, uh, I mean, in this case, it's every Thursday morning when they wake up and read the chapters, because in a world filled with cynicism and bullshit and stress, it is pretty cool to know that you can go about your week, despite how crappy you think it may be, but that at least one day out of the week, you can wake up to something, to read something that you enjoy and discuss it with other people. Um... And so with, with Bleach ending and, and with Naruto ending, it's kind of, it, it becomes very scary. It's like, wh what the fuck? Like, what's going to happen? And that's another reason why I understood. I've made uh, two Bleach videos in the past couple of weeks. And uh, most people like them, but a lot of people were offended. They were pissed off that I was talking about Bleach this late in the game. And I don't agree with them because I have my First Amendment rights and I can talk about whatever the fuck I want to on this channel. Um, but I understand them. I understand where they're coming from. They feel betrayed. They feel they feel like I haven't earned the right to talk about Bleach, even though, again, I can talk about whatever the fuck I want. But they feel like I haven't earned it. So um, I understand that. And, and, you know, people get very, very attached to these things. It's normal. You know, it's the same thing with me and One Piece. But at the same time, it's that same attachment and emotion that, that people make fun of all the time. What Case in point, Filthy Frank is really popular. Why? Because he's funny. And because there is nothing funnier than having an anime fan rage quit over some bullshit. That is a fact. That is a funny, 
funny thing to watch. And I've been fortunate enough to like be able to foster a you know some viewership that is pretty pretty smart when it comes to the stuff that I say and the stuff that I talk about. So they don't get offended easily. Although I will say that like uh, something really stood out. Like a couple of comments with with the bleach videos. Um, there were some people who were like, oh, you're, you're just doing th these videos for the views. I'm like, motherfucker, what the fuck? This is YouTube. Are you serious? Give me the name of one big YouTuber. When I say big, I'm talking uh, 50K subs and above, all right? That doesn't do the videos they do in part because they want to get views. YouTube is a platform to get views. Hello? It's like, without views, you can't exist on YouTube. It's like, that's a fact of life, right? Another thing, people that make videos, and I'm telling you this, you know, from experience, from my personal experience, we have egos. We really have egos. Why do you think collab videos, like, or collab channels don't work? They, they, they end up dying very quickly because people get into fights because guess what? People have fucking egos. So to incriminate me, to actually say, oh, you're just doing this for the views. If you want to troll, if you want to insult me or say, oh, this is a shitty video. Whatever, you can do it, but at least don't be a fucking hypocrite about it. Just be a troll. Don't be a hypocrite. There's no reason for that, you know, and I'm just trying to keep it 100%, you know. I'm the real Donald Trump up in this bitch, so, so vote for me, not him. This is coming straight from the heart, right? This is coming directly from the pubic hairs that I have on my chest because I value you enough to be honest with you, all right? So that's number one. Another thing is, like, the abuse has not gone down. It hasn't, all right? And as a reviewer, you know, the abuse is part of the territory. You have to kind of roll with the punches. Otherwise, you have to leave. That's a fact. Um, so, but when I, I actually sit down and I think to myself, out of all the fandoms that, you know, that I talk about or that I involve myself with, um, who, do you, who do I think is the more abusive? And surprise, the, the answer may be very surprising to you. Because at first I thought it was Naruto. And, and even with this Bleach thing, the abuse that I got wasn't even remotely, like, you know, it didn't even, like, touch the stuff that I've gotten before in the past. So, Naruto, I don't think Naruto is an abusive fandom, um, but it has harassed me in the past. Uh, people just want me, like, constantly telling me, hey, have you seen this? Can you talk about this? Hagoromo, talk about this. Um, so, but they're cool, you know, they're, I, I tolerate them, and I, I think one of the things that helps me with the Naruto fans is that they have a sense of humor. Most of them do, at least. But actually, the fandom that is actually has been the most abusive towards me is actually the, the, the fandom that I felt has been uh, the, the more loving towards me as well. And that's the One Piece fandom. The One Piece fandom is kind of like a, it's a double-edged sword. One of the comments that somebody left on, on this week's review. First of all, fuck you. No offense. Wow. Well, ain't that a contradiction? And that's just one example of many. Uh, but, but no, actually, returning to the original question of this video, it's like, what do you think is going to happen after Bleach ends? You know, because that's, that's, with Bleach and Naruto gone, that's two out of the three big three that are done with. So do you think, like, One Piece, b given that it's going to be left alone, do you think One Piece is going to rise to the top and encapsulate everything? Uh, I know a lot of people are, are you know, betting on uh, the, the Boku no Hero horse, uh, you know, to be top two. Because, um, honestly, I mean, right now, like, One Piece... It's, 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 you know, top one in Shonen Jump. I think it's the, the most popular one. That was not always the case, though. Back in the day when we had this concept uh, called the Big Three, like, One Piece was in the... It was, it was part of the Big Three, but it was definitely the less popular of the three. It was Naruto, Bleach, and One Piece. So even within that, that mainstream sphere, One Piece was a minority. I mean, the only reason why I, I think Bleach would be, you know, during this time would be getting close to beating One Piece in terms of popularity, if at all, is because, you know, it's ending. It's precisely because it's ending and people want to see how things end. Um, but other than that, it's like, so after that, then what, what's left? And when I say, when the, the question is like, what will happen to manga? I don't really mean manga in general, because that's always going to be there. I mean shonen, the shonen genre. You know, because in all honesty, and this is my, my, my opinion, and I, you know, if you, if you think I'm wrong, you can correct me. But for the most part, like, what I've seen in the community and, you know, just people in forums and stuff, and just in general, anime fans, when it comes to shonen, like, the shonen genre, uh, the consensus is kind of like, meh. I'm like, so, so what, what, uh, what manga are you reading? Oh, this, this meh manga. Oh, is it good? Yeah, it's good. Why is it good? Meh. It was the worst of times. It was the meh of times for manga. No, but seriously, like, um, and, and by the way, when I say meh, like this is a meh period, I don't mean in terms of chapters, because if you look at, 
if you look at the timeline, you know, things spike up, but they spike up because the chapter was fucking epic and people are just like, that, that's what the conversation revolves versus it revolving around specific series. I think the last big spike that we had was One Punch Man, the anime. Those are just my thoughts. Please comment down below with yours. Uh, if you're a Bleach fan and you got pissed off about the two videos I did regarding the finale, I guess I apologize, even though, even though I totally called the fact that Aizen was using Genjutsu, right, that it wasn't really Ichigo's sword that got cracked and shit, I totally called it, I totally called it. So let me ask you something, what does that say about Bleach, you know, the, the, the quality of the writing, that a total noob like me can read a couple of chapters near the ending and totally call and predict what's going to happen? Can't wait to see Aizen's Bankai, uh, which is something that I also wrote in the comment section of that video, so... Uh, but yeah, uh, thank you for watching. Like the video if you did. I appreciate that. Subscribe to my channel. Comment down below. <laughs> Comment down below with your thoughts. Thanks, guys. Bye.